Hey, welcome to Torker. So it's your first time tuning into the channel. This is Torker BMX, you searched it up. I know everybody's been trying to figure out what's been going on with Torker BMX. Well, we're here to tell you a little bit about it. Hey, I'm Hollywood Mike Miranda. I raced BMX and I raced BMX for Torker. And in my day, Torker was known for its quality. I mean, they made the best bikes and the best looking bikes and those bikes won. I know my twin brother, Tommy Brackens and I, we won a lot of races on those bikes. So when they told us that Torker was coming back, we were like, well, who in the world can handle that job? Well, in my mind, there was only one person that could handle that, that's Bill Ryan. Thank you, Bill. Thank you guys. What makes you, what makes you so great at doing stuff like this? Honestly, I don't think there's anything specific that makes me great except for the dedication that we put into trying to make sure everybody has the best bikes, the best time, and... Well, you've already been doing that for a long time with Supercross. 35 years. And you've won some awards. We've won seven Golden Cranks for Bike of the Year, which is... Not to toot our own horn, but I like to say it's uh, record breaking. In modern day racing, you are iconic, absolutely. And you have been for decades. So for you to bring all that, there were some other steps that you had to take to make Torker again. Tell we, me about that. We, we had to go through quite a few legal hoops after purchasing the names, going through the registrations with the lawyers, going through getting everything done for the proper legal channels, which was a nine year process. Wow. It, it was a jump. You and Eddie King knew the process that we were going through and what it had been taking. It had been a nightmare. Before we went ahead and announced that we were going to do this out of respect to the Johnson family who had given up the Torker name and the Max name. After putting their blood, sweat, and tears, after, after really creating this family brand, you had the foresight to go to them oh, I and get to. their blessings. Tell me about that. Well, we had to. And luckily, Eddie had the contact to reach out to the Johnson family. And I was able to get a hold of Evan Johnson, who is Steve Johnson's son. And Steve, unfortunately, is no longer with us. He passed during COVID. But we were able to get a hold of Evan. And Evan came out and sat down with us at the Winter Nationals. So he came out and saw what we do as Supercross and with our BMX racing team. And we got to have a talk and he got to actually see our riders and see our bikes and see it in person. And we got to have a great talk about what we were gonna do to try and revitalize and bring Torker back to the forefront of being one of the funnest BMX brands out there. I was gonna say, he also saw how much fun we have at the races. Oh, we had a blast. Yeah. And after that, he gave us an unconditional blessing and said, hey, this is in the best hands that it could be in. And we took it a step further from there and we spoke with Doug Johnson, Steve Johnson's younger brother. And I said, look, I really wanna make sure that we have the family's blessing on this. We, we own this, this is ours. But I wanna make sure that we have your family's blessing before we introduce this out to the world. And they, they were so kind and so generous with their words. And it truly humbled me that they were so forthcoming with saying, hey, it's in better hands than it was when we did it back in the 70s and the early 80s. Well, I agree. Knowing you and what you've done and what you can accomplish, I, I'm sure it's in the right hands. And uh, I, for one, am very proud to say that I'm back with Torker. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And we hope that you guys can really truly enjoy and feel the fun of what we're putting into Torker to give you guys the best BMX bikes that you can have. Yes. yes.